The short answer is, it's boring. The better answer is, well, keep watching. Oh, and by the way, I might have slightly lied about me not ever having Tinder, because I did have. I was in high school then, and then me and my friend, we downloaded Tinder in hope to find a sugar daddy, but it was a joke and it doesn't count, right? No, but seriously speaking, during my other life, I've never had a dating app because I firmly believe that they are BS. Maybe their purpose upon invention wasn't meant to be evil, but today we prove otherwise. They are clearly the cause of the modern hookup culture, boring dating life, decline in social skills, loneliness, disrespect, and why we're losing hope with love. This doesn't the idea of meeting someone through an app sound like a very boring idea? I'm an old soul. I believe that the traditional way of meeting someone is much more exciting and the chances that you're going to meet someone worth meeting are higher. I mean, I'm quite sure that thanks to this stubbornness of mine, it's the reason why I met my current partner and he was definitely someone worth meeting. And what's more is that I've always been very doubtful of the contingent on the apps. I've just always had this feeling inside of me that people who are on those apps are either searching for short-term gratification or they're lonely and they're searching for someone to entertain them because they cannot bear the loneliness or they are searching for a plaster. Do you get what I mean? And in addition to being an old soul, I also like to romanticize the meeting of a someone. Hearing all these beautiful stories from parents or grandparents, how someone's grandpa met someone's grandma by standing in the same spot for five days in order to meet them again because they forgot to take their number, or how someone's parents just simply met in a bus. Or for example, my parents, they met standing in a queue and then they had to keep contact through letters because they were and from the same country and they had a huge language barrier because they didn't speak the same language. You cannot not agree with me that this is what every woman wants. And I'm also quite positive that deep inside this is also what every normal man would prefer as well. And aren't those also nicer stories to tell to your grandchildren than that we met on Tinder. Obviously, this is completely opposite to where we are today. Today, a guy sends you some stupid text on Tinder, but besides you, he sends it to 10 other girls, if not more, to see which of the fishes he's fishing for will bite. This absolutely does not compare with standing in the same spot for five days in order to meet your dream woman again. Absolutely not. This is a very low effort way for a guy to meet a girl. It's like a minimum effort strategy. If she bites, I'll give it a go. And this just proves that on these apps, people are not interested in people specifically, but rather in getting that dopamine spike. And I also believe that the more a man has to put effort into something, the more they appreciate it. And I also feel that women will appreciate their man more if they would put more effort into the woman. So it's like a closed circle, which makes sense. And yes, I'm well aware that until this point I've been ranting about how awful guys are on these apps, so I'm just going to bring this up very quickly. It's not only guys who are guilty, women have their part in it as well, but more about that later. Honestly, there's so many reasons why I never wanted to download an app and take part in this hookup culture. All that just feels so surface-oriented, which did really not interest me. And also the tremendous amount of time and energy these apps consume from you and your energy is not protected. All that energy that goes there, like, fish, I have better things to do. Those little stupid texts could interest me the least, honestly. Nothing, no thing, nada is more valuable than time. But the amount one spends on those apps texting with all of these random people I sometimes see my friends on these apps and I see the amount of messages they receive and it's so freaking much! It's overwhelming and all that time could be spent so much more wisely than texting with some low-value guy who does not care about you. He cares about the dopamine spike. You could be working on yourself, fix your shit and become the self-sufficient dream woman. And for men, you could be working on yourself to become compassionate, caring and a loving man with who women actually want to be. Because there is just something in this universe, something mystical, call it magic, whatever, I don't know. But once you stop obsessively trying to find someone and you let go and just start focusing on yourself, almost the same second, 
the right person walks into your life. Exactly this happened to me and so many more people who I know. It's like a gift from the universe. I guess. And I also believe into this little silly thing that our souls are meant to meet when it's the right time and you can't force it to happen earlier. So basically, you will meet the right person when you're ready for it. In addition to wasting your time and energy, it feels a bit desperate. Don't get offended now, but it is desperate to sign up for an app in hope to find love. You can't find love on some app through screen. What is it? Love at first swipe? Or, or something? Really, rather be lonely than with a man who needs an app to find a woman. And let's just be really clear, I'm not judging anyone. You have the freedom to do whatever you want to do with your life. That's the beauty of life. But also, don't act surprised if you can find love because you're having two different dates in one day. When did we normalize this? There's just nothing special, nothing fun. Nothing exciting, nothing to remember with a smile on your face and butterflies in your stomach. And I was also always bothered with the question, if dating starts that boring, how will the relationship be in two years? I'm not saying that I never felt the temptation to do it, to get on these apps. I definitely felt tempted at times when I was sick for love and I saw all my friends having these dates and on a surface level, it did look very fun, but when I took a deeper look, I changed my mind. You get registered on an app, you create your profile, you upload your picture, and hundreds of guys can swipe you on the left or right in a matter of a second based on a picture, and you can do the same. It's like online shopping, but instead of money, you pay with your time and energy. I'd even compare it to fast fashion. You buy a shirt, you wear it a few times, you get bored with it, you throw it away. Same with people on these apps. You choose for the nicest picture from the unlimited amount of options. If you match, you go for dates, have sex and then throw each other away and go search for a new one. We're like products on these apps and I think it's unhealthy. I don't support one-time usage, not in fashion, not in dating, not in anything. No wonder everyone is so frustrated with dating nowadays, because I think there used to be times when it actually was fun. I've also discussed this topic with the males I know. In conclusion, Good men are not on these apps. But maybe it could be also said that good women are neither. I know guys who also have disappointing experiences because the girl they met happened to have two other dates the same day as well or she just ghosted them after the date. And what's this thing with ghosting anyways? Can't you just freaking say that you're not interested? It's so simple. Let's not complicate that either. So it's not only fault of the men. There's also plenty of emotionally unavailable women on these apps as well. But obviously I am doing this video mainly from a point of view of a woman. It is clear that both parties are frustrated with these apps and as a result frustrated with the opposite sex. All the girls are hoes and all the guys are assholes. What a beautiful love story. You meet people on these apps with an expectation that you'll find love and then get disappointed because all that people actually seek on an app whatsoever, whether it be a Tinder or Instagram, is a dopamine spike, consciously or unconsciously. And wouldn't it just make sense that since we have these apps nowadays, that loneliness would be less. Yet it's quite the opposite. We have more loneliness amongst the young people than ever in history before and the divorce rates are also high up in the sky. Many young people struggle to find a partner and believe it or not, it's actually men who struggle from this more. The reasons for that are many, for example, a porn addiction, but that is a topic I don't wanna go into in this video. In my opinion, in my opinion, <laughs> Thanks to these apps, we have unrealistic expectations from our desired partner and the amount of choice has created commitment issues, for sure. I also think that these apps create less masculine and responsible men. I just don't feel like you can meet someone worth meeting from there. I mean, I have few friends who met their future husband on Tinder and now they have kids and a house. I think everyone has this one or two lucky friends who met the love of their life on Tinder, but it is still rather an exception than a rule. Because still, most of the people with who I talk about dating on Tinder, they do not have pleasant experiences from there and they also don't really take it seriously. No one is on Tinder like seriously that, oh, I'm gonna find the love of my life from here now. 
No one. At least everyone who I know treats it as a joke. But at the same time, most of the people who I know also crave for true love. We are young and social people, our minds are flexible, we are very well able to meet someone outside the traditional way, like in the good old days. And logically thinking, the less women are on these apps, the less men there will be also, and eventually they will have to level up their dating game and how to approach a woman somewhere in real life when they run out of women on these apps. And I just want to mention, the purpose of this video is not to judge anyone, not at all. I just wanted to provoke some thoughts, which you can, by the way, share in the comments. I, as a hopeless romantic, just wish that people will use less of these apps and normalize the traditional way of meeting new people and create these beautiful romantic stories that they can share with their grandchildren or share with me to warm my soul in the comments, for example. And by the way, now you might think to yourself, nice ideology, cat, but that's just not possible in the modern world. No, mm -mm. no, stop thinking right there. Let me prove you otherwise. If you think that in today's world, it's not possible to meet someone without an app, you are wrong, deadly wrong. It definitely is. Every relationship of mine has started without an app and every guy I've ever dated was not true Tinder. Guys will find a way to connect with you if they really want it and they won't need an app for it. And even though not every guy can be the one, the funny memories still stay with you and isn't that what makes life beautiful and warms the soul. And it's also just so much more fun and exciting than the stupid texts on Tinder and I assure you, the quality of your dating life will also go up. And speaking about the quality, I've also made a video on high quality dating and relationships, which is right here and you might wanna check it out. If you found this video interesting, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing to my channel. Love yourself, respect yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.